One of the most important contributions to the study of the human brain was made during the 1930s by Dr. Wilder Penfield, one of Canada's most distinguished neurosurgeons. His work in mapping the brain and in devising operative procedures has produced a treatment for certain forms of epilepsy and has significantly aided the whole field of neurological surgery. Below point 14, 9 to 11, are just above the fissure of Sylvius. Electrode 12 is on the insula below the fissure. In this operation for epilepsy, the response in different areas of the brain is measured by an encephalograph, an electronic device which enables the surgeon, Dr. Rasmussen, to operate in the human brain with pinpoint accuracy. Start counting up to 10, Paul. Start counting up. Can you count to 10? Start. One. One. Go ahead. Three. Simulation of cutting the hippocampus laterally did not interrupt counting. Phase two delta activity in opposition phase here around both uh, uh, seven and eleven, which is seen in other electrodes. An epileptic seizure is brought on by stimulation in order to measure the success of the surgery. After just uh, taking off the very tip end, and there were a few spikes there, so I went ahead and took off the rest of the pet. The body of the hippocampus is in place, and uh, this really got rid of all the epileptiform abnormality, and so I won't do any more radical removal there. Was that herniation below? Well, I, it looks like it, you know. The, uh, uh, and the, because of all this rim of tissue from the pest the hippocampus, the tissue that goes around the tip of the ventricle into the amygdala. Patients are brought from all over the world to the Montreal Neurological Institute to have this operation performed by the men who developed it. 